My morning starts in God's word and I am studying Revelation right now and it is just so much to take in but I am encouraged through his word each and every time I read it. It is a very snowy day and kind of dark gloomy. We got probably about 14 inches total in this storm and so it's one of those days to light a candle for breakfast. I'm staying in my pajamas a little bit longer and getting my scrambled eggs going for the family. There are so many little things that we do as homemakers to care for the home, our spouses, and for our children just to keep it running. But although I make the breakfast, my husband always makes my Americano for me every morning. After breakfast is done and cleaned up and I get dressed and get more ready for the day, I start my first load of laundry and I try to do a load of laundry a day on weekdays to just keep up with it, whether that be the sheets, whether that be the girls' clothes, my husband and my clothes, just keep that going so it doesn't pile up. And then finish with the breakfast cleanup. Um, I always just wash my cast iron and then let it dry on the burner on low till it is dry. So much easier than using paper towel to wipe it out too. So the little things that keep a house running, I can brush my teeth and then right after that, I wipe down the bathroom counter. I do wipe my bathroom counter down once a day because I leave a vinegar water lemon essential oil spray under my vanity with a rag and so it never, okay I shouldn't say never, it sometimes gets grimy and it does stay grimy and has toothpaste on it but I like to wipe it once a day just so it's fresh and um, clean for who knows what if someone would happen to stop by or just for my sake because I do not enjoy feeling stickiness on the vanity countertops after um, I've done my hair or when I wash my hands. So just a little something to do that helps maintain the home. to say it took about a minute so the amount of time you saw this to clean that top so why not take the time to do it all right I'm moving on to making the bread for the family this week I am trying something different other than my typical sourdough sandwich loaves that I make each week I am doing a sourdough einkorn um, bread artesian style bread so i'll be baking it in the dutch oven later this evening to go along with our supper i am doing all the measurements and using my jovial foods einkorn flour it is a very simple ingredient flour um, i did struggle with some of the folding a bit but i'm learning as i go and that is something all the little things we do too to maintain a home is continually learn. Homemaking is always learning. And writing my to-do list for the day. Um, I don't always do this. Sometimes I just know what I have going on and we'll get that taken care of. But today there were some things that I wanted to write on my schedule or docket for the day to get done. I just had to share this cozy glimpse of my candle with all the snow on the ground that's still coming down and all the things that we do for our kids um, to encourage them in their learning. We read every day, we sat on the floor this time, um, do a little bit of homeschooling, we get snacks for our kids, so my homemade yogurt, um, not my homemade granola this time, but I do have that over on the blog if you are interested in that. But there's so many little things we do with our children and just trying to teach them to love learning and learn along the way and um, just care for them with food, with love, and with just being their mamas. So here's the first fold of this bread and you know like I said I'm learning as I go. 
I sometimes like to keep things really simple and that sandwich bread loaf is very simple. There's no stretching and folding involved. So having the time to be home is handy for this because you do have to be home or at least around because it's a couple times every 30 minutes and then you have to let it rise for another hour and a half and you know just things you do when you're home. And there's always beds to be made. The laundry is fresh out of the dryer for the bedding. And just making the bed look nice is always something I enjoy to come into a freshly made clean sheets bed, adding just a very simple pillows on top of the bed as well. But these are all the little things that we do. And guess what? It's lunchtime already, so preparing a very simple quesadilla with the tortillas that I love from Costco, some veggies with homemade hummus, and just getting the kiddos fed. My husband comes home for lunch every day as well, and so just keeping the house running with food. That is often the case, especially when you're a stay-at-home mom and you eat three meals as a family together. You spend a lot more time in the kitchen so kitchen time is very important I was laughing with my little boy as I did some more kitchen cleanup I've shared this before but after every meal there was always cleanup we do have a dishwasher I use it every once in a while but there's something about washing the dishes by hand and when you have a dishwasher like us that you pretty much have to rinse it you might as well just hand wash it the little things of emptying the coffee, uh, the espresso machine drain place, I guess you would call it, when it gets full and then refilling our Berkey and all those little things that just need to be done, especially if I want an afternoon latte, um, if we want purified water, you know, just the little tasks that have to happen paying bills. Oh, there's just, you know, the list can go on and on and things can get to seem monotonous, but each day always brings something different and something new. And um, just the things that we do as homemakers are truly a joy and they strenuous and hard and learning things that are new, like my bread that I'm doing was a challenge and somewhat frustrating but it is good as well because it is new and if we don't challenge ourselves, how are we ever going to grow? I'm quickly whipping up a sourdough applesauce sweet bread with uh, maple syrup because I had some applesauce in the fridge that needed to be used up and I just use a little more of my sourdough starter as well. And this is over on my blog if you're interested in that. But I just like to have healthier snacks for my kiddos. And so homemade, especially when I know what's in it, is always good. All right, continuing in the role of bread making. So I used my banneton basket and some tea towels to let it do the hour and a half rise while my Dutch oven preheated for an hour in the oven. And then use some parchment paper to put that loaf in there. And um, then I am scoring it just to make whatever kind of pattern you want. Uh, maybe that's something I'll work on too is doing some sourdough better patterns in art because right now I'm just making some lines and making it um, work for what I wanted it to be. simple meal of some deer backstraps we'll be having. These are parsnips that a friend gave us from our local colony that she had frozen and so are the beets. So it's a very um, home-raised meal I guess you would say and that's something 
that I have been doing a lot of lately. You've probably seen in my videos like a meat, a veggie, and a carb. Um, that's kind of what I've been going for. Although tonight when I am doing this voiceover, we did have a really delicious stew. But um, it's so nice to have those veggies on hand and just to roast those up along with that sourdough bread. And it did turn out quite nicely. It was a little dense, but that could be because it's einkorn flour. I'm not sure, but it really tasted pretty good. Had that crunchy exterior. Anyways, other little things, and this doesn't have to be for everybody. I love lighting the candles in the winter months just to cozy it up. So put some fresh beeswax tapered candles in my holders and lit those to have with our supper and just made it kind of a fun eating experience and then got working on the meat because it didn't take super long to cook. But these are all the little things that we do. We do some beautiful things like making food for our family and lighting the candles and um, just reading to our children and that is also good. And then the cleanup of the kitchen especially when you are roasting a meat with grease, it splatters. So just getting the stovetop wiped off with my natural cleaner solution of water, vinegar, and lemon essential oil. I use that on almost everything. And so, you know, these little things that we do really are important. And I don't want any of you to forget that, whether you stay home with your kids, whether you're a working mom, whether you're a grandmother, whether you are single, whether you are one year married, um, whatever it may be, that all the little things you do as a homemaker are important. It keeps the home running, it keeps your family going, and it's just a great way to be, I think. Slow living in what you do as a homemaker is important. The night finishes up with my husband reading Laura Ingalls Wilder to our oldest and I am folding some laundry. So I hope you enjoyed today and just seeing all the little things that I do for my family and that you are doing well with what you are doing for your home and your family.